Hey guys, Jeff from Show It here, and today I'm going to show you how to self-configure your domain's DNS setting in the domain registrar Hover. So let's jump over to Hover. I'm gonna click Sign In, and I wanna use this Control Panel option. Here's where you can manage domains, which is what we want to do in this case. All right, so here we are inside our Hover dashboard. I only have one domain in the account, sample domain one here, so it's showing for me. If you had multiple, you would be able to see a list of those domains, and you would want to select the domain that you want your live show it site to appear at. So once we have the domain selected that we want to use, let's navigate to the DNS tab here. These are the DNS values that we'll need to edit. We need to set up three records in your domain to point your domain to show its servers to display your new show it site live at your domain. Now, some of these records may already exist in your DNS settings, like this A record here. Some may not yet exist and need to be added. Most importantly, how you set this up is going to differ based on whether or not you have a blog with your show it site. After putting in your site setup request, our team will have messaged you with more information. Typically, we can set these DNS settings for you, but as a user, you can choose to self-configure these settings if you'd prefer, or sometimes our team is unable to set these and will need to send you the values to set yourself. Typically, your domain hosts Customer service can help you set those if you pass the values on to them. If they're confused or you're unable to work with them to set those records, this video will help you get those set. So in this example, I'm going to use the universal server IP for anyone without a blog. So if you do not have a blog, you can follow this setup exactly how I'm doing it here. If you do have a blog, please be sure to use the IP that the Show It team sent you after letting you know that your setup was completed that would be the one that you want to use here. So the first record that we want to change is this A record. I'm gonna go ahead and click edit here. So the host name should be the at symbol, and it should be an A record, which we don't have to change because it was already set up that way, but if you were creating it new, be sure to choose the A record option with the host name at symbol. And we wanna put in this IP address here. So again, if you don't have a blog, you'll put in the exact same IP address that you see here, and we'll save that change. You'll see now that's updated, and it should kick over in about 15 minutes. The next record we'll need to add, and this record will be the same whether or not you have a blog. The type will be an A record, the host name will be an asterisk, and the IP address will be the exact same, the one ending in 27 that you just used for your A record. We'll go ahead and add this record, and you'll see that it's now added here. The last record that we need to set up is the CNAME record. This record is already set up, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it and we'll set it up anew. So in this case, I'll click add record. We want the type to be CNAME, the host should be www, and for the target name, you're going to want your root domain. Depending on the registrar that you're using, some will take either the root domain name or the at symbol. So I could try the at symbol here, add the record, and in this particular registrar, it tells me that's not valid. That would indicate that it wants the root domain name, which is sampledomain1.com. And then that error goes away, it's all good, and we can add that record. A couple of important things to note here are that we should only have one A record with the host value of this at symbol. So we should only have this single one, otherwise, your domain is going to have to choose which site to serve up at which IP. So we want to make sure that we just have the one A at record pointed to the value that our team provided you to point your DNS to. Now other records like this MX record and these other C name records, these might deal with custom emails or a slew of different options. We only need to ensure that we've added these two A records and the www C name record. So once we have those three added, we can leave everything else as is, as not to disrupt anything else connected to your domain. Now that I've set those three values, I can jump back in to show it and finish my launch. So by now you've put in your site setup request. If you haven't done that, check out the help doc, how do I launch my site for further instructions. You've set your domain DNS settings. It's now pointed to show it. You can click on connect your domain and choose edit next to custom domain. From there, you'll now see your domain loaded in as an option. Select it and choose save. Once we've done that, we can click publish. I'm going to uncheck this box here. It is just for my test site, so you don't need to worry about this in your setup. And we'll click publish here. It does its thing, 
and now our site is live at our domain. So now we can see our site live at our domain here. Everything is looking great. You may notice this not secure message after configuring your domain, but not to worry. All you'll need to do is jump back over to show it, contact our support team via the chat bubble in the bottom right corner, and let them know that you need an SSL security certificate set up. They will handle that for you, and then before you know it, your site will be all taken care of and it will show this little lock icon which indicates it is secure. SSL security is something you will want. So you'll definitely want to connect with our team and have them set that up for you. That's it. You're all done and your site is live and ready to go. Nothing else needs to happen. You can make changes and publish them to the live site with one click of the publish button. I hope this video has helped you better understand how to set your domain's DNS settings. If you have any questions or need any help, feel free to chat our support team. They'd be happy to help. Until next time, happy designing.